What up, what up, what up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? You boys just welcome back to another 2K14 gameplay. My career. Oh, we're going to get into a little quick cutscene between me and LeBron. I know the words don't match up with their mouths. It does that from time to time. I don't know, but check out this story clip. How you doing? Oh, what's up, LeBron? Just trying to follow some of that good advice you gave me after the last time we played. Good to hear. I see you stepped up your game since our last conversation, too. Yeah, man, I've been working hard. Yo, I feel like I'm getting better every day. Watch out. Pretty soon I'll be coming for your crown. <laughs> man, don't get too ahead of yourself. But since I see you're sincere about improving your game, I have a couple more things I can share with you. Hey, like I said last time, I'm always willing to listen to one of the greats. What you got laid on me? All right. One of the things I pride myself is the ability to take the ball coast to coast on the break. Getting it to the other end as quick as you can and finish it strong at the rim is a great way to catch the defense off guard. It's something you should continue to work on. Make it one of your signature skills even, and you'll be a force on the break before you even know it. Yeah, I'll definitely see if I have a slot for it in my arsenal. Got to push to get that advantage any chance I can, you know? For sure. And one other thing. I hear you've been developing some pretty sick dunking skills. Yo, man, I'm all right. I definitely like to throw down when the opportunity's there, you know? Well, in that case, I guess I'll show you a few of the dunks I like to use. Here, check it out. Woo! Yo, man, how they not got you in the dunk contest yet? <laughs> I think about it every year. Maybe you'll see me in there someday. But for now, Let's see you start to work some of these into your game. Yeah, I will. Hey, thanks so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. It really means a lot coming from the players I respect the most in the NBA. Anytime. And sorry in advance about the loss you guys about to get tonight. Yeah, we'll see about that. All right, man. So here we go. We are in Sec Town going up against the uh, Heat. Last time we were, of course, we got empty seats. Yeah, why is that five foot one girl going out with John Sally over there? He's like six nine. <laughs> so whoa, whoa, get out my face, man. So um, last time we went up against the Heat, man, we went ahead and lost. LeBron is by far the best player in two K when you go up against. Right there, we show him the rage. You got to show him the rage one time, though. Um, LeBron is a monster. He absolutely went nuts this game. But is it enough? Man? Pull your bows out. Pull them out. Pull them out. We absolutely him. Then we go up with a jam. Uh, LeBron James is a monster in this game. The Heat are very, very tough to beat. I'm thankful that I am in the Western Conference. So we might not have to go up against them that much. Right there we go for another slam dunk. Um, so, uh... They are very tough to stop, man. Like, they, they don't really miss too many shots. And like I said, man, LeBron James is a monster. Right there, we got a fast break. And you got to show him the strength. And one. And I'm my own one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I said I'm my own one. And y'all know what time it is. We go to the cherry stri charity stripe. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Spin. Focus. Now splash. Now, man, like I was saying, man, um, I actually had a... A pretty good game. Uh, the so did the Miami Heat. Like I said, man, LeBron James is a monster. You guys are gonna see what he was capable of this game. So a couple seconds remaining, me. I figured maybe we could drive, make something happen. And I am a facilitator, people. I drive, I dish, and we go for two. That's what I do, people. As we are dropping an accidental freestyle. So uh, 28 to 24. Not that bad. Not that bad. Not that bad. Uh, going into the second quarter, only down a couple right here. By the time I get back in the game, we are down one. And right there, you can't give me that much space, young blood. You cannot give me that much space and expect me not to just go on ahead and pull out that nice, clean stroke I've been working on. Right there, man, we actually get a nice little assist as uh, Thomas shows him the range right there. So, you know, we're down three, feeling good. You know, hopefully we can go on ahead and, and continue to uh, put some points on the board But we got to get stops That's more important than anything We got to stop them from scoring As LeBron James goes to the rack The guy is unstoppable He's unstoppable There's nothing you can do He's just a monster in this game, man Right here Oh, oh, back him on up 
Back it up, show them the strength. Show them the strength. Show them that we got girth. And we go right underneath the basket. Quick little inside layup right there. And, man, like I was saying, man, we are absolutely just doing a lot better than I expected. And, again, the Heat score. Again, every time we got something going, man, they had a quick rebuttal uh, instantaneously. You know what I mean? So, uh, oh, my goodness, D-Wade. Where's your ankles, Wade? Where's your ankles? Pick them up. I think you dropped them at half court. Pick up the ankles. 12 seconds remaining at this point, man. We actually have a tie ball game. We actually might go into the half with the tie game, which would be big for us, you know what I mean, just to keep it close. Right there, inside pass. And uh, thankfully, they end up missing that. Oh, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato. I'm not shooting that. I'm not messing up my pursuit percentage for nobody. So right now, we have ourselves a tie game. But by the time I come back in the third quarter, we're actually down. Not by much, you know what I mean? We are down, but like I said, it's not by much. All right, here, trying to get a pick and roll going. You know, you pick our road. That's how it goes. Okay. I see you. I see you. Look at the vision. I got that 2020 vision, man. That eyesight is absolutely astronomically biblical. So, right here, man. Again, we're going to bag them on down. Watch my fanny. Watch my fanny. And then we go right underneath for the easy layup. And uh, definitely working on my strength. But as you see, man, we're down 12 as the fourth quarter is about to begin. But I do usual. Usually, I, st I start the entire fourth quarter. So, uh, that was the case here. So, I'm definitely thinking, you know, we, maybe we have a chance. You know, when I'm in the game, we have uh, an opportunity to do well on offense. But LeBron James was just unstoppable. His little head being his self. That big old melon head. So, here we go, man. Just trying to see if I get anything going. And we go right to the rack and we go up for another dunk. I got to give me some dunk packages, man. I keep doing that same little, uh, that uh, Charles Barkley Gorilla uh, Jam. I, I need I need more of a variety, man. I know I got the the package for the um, the windmill, but I've only done one. I guess I need to be in complete wide open space in order for me to do it. But nonetheless, man, uh, down 11 at this point. And like I said, every time I, I thought we were getting something going, man, uh, they would just answer right back. And Le LeBron James is such an amazing passer in this game. Like, he would just throw missiles real quick to wide open players. And it is very, very frustrating, man. Right here, as the quarter expires, man, we end up uh, knocking down a three. So, uh, it's still an 11-point ball game at this point. So, like I said, we played the entire fourth quarter. As you guys see, I'm at like 80, 90 shooting percentage right now. I'm um, shooting very, you know, uh, open shots or uh, close basket shots. Right there, we get a rebound. Fast break. Let's go. One on the right, one on the left. Nobody up the middle in case I want to drive. And, oh, I see you, DC. I see you, DC. Cut to the basket. So, uh, one thing that completely messed this game up, though, is that I had a challenge or uh, whatever it is, man. One of those missions or you, you know what I'm talking about. I can't think right now. Wide open, but we ended up missing that. Um, it was it was like, uh, since you think you're a superstar, prove it by scoring 10 straight baskets. Well, 10 straight points, not 10 straight baskets. 10 straight points. So, that right there really ruined the rest of the quarter. Because in order for me to accomplish that, I, I obviously I can't pass. You know, 10 points in a row have to be done by me. And that right there just completely made it difficult to come back because I was struggling in the fourth quarter because I was just chucking up shots. I wanted to hurry up and get 10 straight points so I could go back to passing. And it, it made everything just not so good in the fourth quarter. Trying to call a pick and roll right here. Trying to see if I can get some, some free space right here. Nothing really is open right there, so I'm continuing to just try and find some space, man. Again, I'm trying to get to the rack, and uh, we end up um, getting a foul. So, uh, like I was saying, man, it was very, very frustrating. It took me forever to score these 10 points in a row. You know what I mean? Not being able to pass definitely made it uh, frustrating, at the least. You know, we were within, like, you know, 11, and uh, right here, I'm backing them on down. And again, I'm just forcing up shots, trying to accomplish this challenge, and uh, we end up missing. And uh, we start a fast break opportunity for Zum. And uh, D Wade goes to. Was that D Wade? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to have the ball. But uh, here goes the LBJ right there. Wide open, top of the key splash. The guy is unstoppable. Look at it, 44 points, man. 44 points. And there I am again. Just trying to get points, man. Right there, I pass it. Give me the ball right back because I, I got to score. I got to score these 10 points in a row. Right there, we try to jack up the tray, and we end up missing. That challenge, to me, just made it so much difficult for us to go on ahead and uh, come back. Like I said, I, I was struggling 
heavily. There goes LeBron James again to the basket. On he's an unstoppable force, man. There was nothing we could do to slow him down. Right here on the sideline, just trying my best to just to create something, man. And of course, <laughs> ball is stolen, and LBJ is leading the pack, and he ends up going up for the dunk. And he looks direct. He looked directly at me too. He's supposed to be mentoring me. He he gave me them nice words at the beginning, but he gonna yam on us and look directly at me. You know what I'm saying? Dirtbag move. So here I am again, forcing myself into the paint, trying to get an easy bucket, and we end up missing another one. And that was the story of the fourth quarter. You see, I went from 90% all the way down to 52%, just missing way too many shots, man. Uh, right here, I was uh, open right there on the inbounds, and we end up. Uh, Shooting the three. Show him the range. So at this point, man, we got 30. We go up and uh, we end up getting ourselves a layup. And I believe that right there was the 10th and final point. What? Well, yeah, takeover was the challenge. We finally got 10 points. And at this point, now I can finally pass the ball, which makes everything so much easier. But then at that point, we were down by like 20. So it was, the game was just pretty much out of hand. And I really feel like that challenge just ruined everything. Now, I know I could have just passed the ball and negated the challenge to keep ourselves in the game, but I wanted to do the challenge. You know what I mean? Uh, I felt like it had some type of involvement in me possibly starting since it said, you know, since you think you're a superstar, prove it to me by scoring 10 straight points. And uh, I was able to do it. It took me like nine minutes, but I was able to do it. But unfortunately, we end up losing. So that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we're going to go on ahead and jump into a cutscene where I go on ahead and check out... Uh, uh, the GM and he's got a got a little couple words for me so hope you guys enjoyed man as always your boy GS and we are signing out peace thanks for coming up just wanted to give you a quick update on how things are progressing. I talked to Coach, and he agrees. You've been playing well lately. He thinks you're close to being ready for the starting lineup. Yeah, so do I. I mean, I, I've been working hard lately, you know? Uh, I, I'm ready to take that next step. But real talk, I mean, I just want to help this team win games whether that's starting lineup or coming off the bench. Good. Sounds like you have your head straight on about this. No need to rush things, right? You're young and being a starter in the NBA, that carries a lot of responsibility. We just don't want to make a move until we're sure it's the right thing to do. Oh, I, I completely understand. I mean, I'm ready to do whatever coach needs me to do. You know? Excellent. Well, just keep doing what you're doing and I'll let you know if anything changes. Thanks. See you later. Have a good practice.